Hi everyone. Let us discuss this example. In this example, we have to find work done. In moving a particle from point P to Q with this force field f, f of x, y is equal to this one. Getting and further they have mentioned for, show first that f is conservative. See when we have to find work done. Okay, so the method is fixed. First, we try to prove the field is conservative. If it is conservative, we find its potential function. And with the help of that, we find work done. Okay, so in previous video also, we have seen that technique. So let us start to do the same. But see, uh, you can easily see f is a function from R2 to R2. When you have a function f from R3 to R3, we find curl of a bar. We prove that it is zero and then we say it is conservative. But see, it has only two components. So the technique is little bit different. So yes, let me show it here. We have, I should mention, we have. What is the first component of this force field is e raised to y square cos x. And what is the second component? 2y e raised to y square sin x. Okay, so these two components of given function has. So what we do, we take its derivative with respect to y and we take its derivative with respect to x. If both of them are same, then we say the field is conservative. Let us find its der derivative with respect to y. Then derivative of f1 with respect to y. See cos x is constant, right? Derivative of exponential function is same. So e raised to y square. Further derivative of y square is 2y. We call it a chain rule. And here we find derivative of f2 with respect to x. What is its derivative with respect to x? So this part of y is constant. 2y e raised to y square. Derivative of sin x is cos x, you know. See, both of them are same. So therefore, deba f1 by deba y is equal to deba f2 by deba x. So therefore, what can we declare? Therefore, f is conservative. So in this way, we proved the field is conservative. Now we have to find its potential function. Okay. See, uh, make a screenshot of it. After that, we'll go for the next part. So here I have considered let phi be a potential function of given field f bar. Okay, so we have to find out the value of phi. So you know that if phi is potential function of a bar, definitely we can write a bar is equal to del phi. So let us put the values. What is our a bar? It is e raised to y square. Okay, cos x, 2y e raised to y square sin x. This is equal to del. That uh, the operator you are familiar with that del means del by del by x, del by del by y. So we are operating del on phi. So obviously we will have del phi by del by x, del phi by del by y. We will compare. Okay, comparing. So if you compare, what will you get? Del phi by del by x is equal to the first component is equal to e raised to y square cos x, and the second component will be del phi by del by y is equal to 2y e raised to y square sin x. So see del phi by del by x and del phi by del by y we have got, but our final target is to find value of phi. So for that I will integrate. So here we have derivative with respect to x. So I will integrate with respect to x. So derivative with respect to x and integration with respect to x will get cancelled to each other, and we will have phi is equal to its integration with respect to x. I will write directly. This is function of y. It will be constant. Will come outside the integration. So e raised to y square. Integration of cos x is sin x. So that's why we will have sin x here plus constant of integration, which is psi one of y. Getting since when we integrate with respect to x, y and all functions of y will be constant. So I'm considering uh, constant of integration is a function of y. So here we have to integrate with respect to y. So when we integrate with respect to y, uh, the function of x will be constant, will come outside. So sin x will come outside integration of 2y e raised to y square dy we have, right? And I should write constant of integration, which is psi 2 of x, since x is constant here. So we are familiar with one result. Let me write, write it here. That is integration e raised to f of x into f dash of x dx is equal to e raised to f of x. So this result already we have seen in 12th standard, right? So yes, so this result I'm going to use it here. 
सो वॉट विल गेट साइन एक्स विल बी एज इट इज सो यस ई रेस टू सम फंक्शन वी हैव बट इट्स डेरेवेटिव इज प्रेजेंट हियर टू वाई वॉट इज डेरेटिव ऑफ वाई स्क्वेयर टू वाई इट इज प्रेजेंट हियर सो दिस रिजल्ट इज एप्लीकेबल सो बाय दैट रिजल्ट वी कैन राइट ई रेस टू वाई स्क्वेयर साइन एक्स यस सो साइन एक्स वॉज ऑलरेडी देयर इंटीग्रेशन ऑफ दिस वन इज ई रेस टू वाई स्क्वेयर एंड प्लस साइड टू ऑफ एक्स वी शूड राइट ओके सो लेट एस गो फॉर द वी हैव सम स्पेस लेट एस यूज सो देअर फोर देअर फोर देअर फोर फाइव इज इक्वल टू ओके सो टू डिफरेंट वैल्यूज ऑफ फाइव वी हैव गॉट सो यूजिंग देम वी विल फाइंड आउट अवर फाइव फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी विल राइट अ कॉमन पार्ट ऑफ बोथ दिस फाइव सो वी हैव दिस कॉमन फंक्शन लेट मी राइट इट हियर ई रेस टू वाई स्क्वेयर एंड साइन एक्स वी हैव राइट साइ वन ऑफ वाई साइ टू ऑफ एक्स दीज आर फंक्शन ऑफ एक्स एंड वाई बट सी नथिंग इज देयर सो कॉमन पार्ट वी हैव रिटर्न देर इज नो एनी अनकॉमन पार्ट सो आई वी राइट सिंपली सी विच इज कॉन्स्ट ऑफ इंटीग्रेशन सो दिस इज रिक्वायर्ड पोटेंशियल फंक्शन ऑफ गिवन फील्ड ए बार ओके सो द पोटेंशियल फंक्शन वी हैव गॉट सो लेट इज गो फर्दर एंड वी विल फाइंड वर्क डन सो नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू फाइंड वर्क डन सो यू आर फैमिलियर विथ द फॉर्मुला ऑफ वर्क डन विच इज नथिंग बट इन लाइन इंटीग्रल ऑफ ए बार डॉट डी आर बार from point p to q already we have proved a bar is conservative so the line integral is independent on path it depends only on its end points right so let us go further this is equal to integration p to q we have already proved a bar has potential function phi and a bar is equal to del phi dot dr bar which is equal to integration p to q this is nothing but d phi okay so see we have some space let us use so this is equal to integration of d phi is phi obviously phi with points p to q let us put the values phi we have already calculated its value is e is to y square sin x right what is p p is pro given to us which is pi by 2 comma 0 and what is point q let us find pi by 2 comma 1 so you know that when we solve definite integral first we put upper limit then we put lower limit let us do i am putting upper limit x is equal to pi by 2 y is equal to 1 so e is to 1 sin pi by 2 okay let us put lower limit in case of lower limit we are going to put uh, yes x is equal to pi by 2 and y is equal to 0 so e is to 0 sin pi by 2 okay so e you know that sin pi by 2 is 1 so we will have e only minus e is to 0 is 1 sin pi by 2 is also 1 so 1 into 1 1 so the work done is e minus 1 so this is required answer make a screenshot of it then we will stop thank you bye bye we will meet in next video